Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 15 of our daily UI series. I have Adobe XD open here and we're going to be creating an on and off switch today. So the question is, how do we make an on and off button that is unique? So let's get started with that. So I'm going to drag out a circle and a rectangle. So this is going to be like a phone switch UI. Let's go with uh, 315 for the width and for the height, let's try 200. No, let's go 125. I'm going to round off those edges and let's actually make that just a little bit like 275, a little bit smaller there. Okay, I'm going to bump this up to a thousand so we make sure that it's completely rounded at all times. And then for this, let's make, see, the height on that is 125. Let's go uh, 100. I'm going to bring that to the front and position that. 15 from the side. I'm going to copy that and do the same thing over here. Line those up. All right, so here's on and this is off. Let's do, let's try a black theme first. So I'm going to grab a bluish color and then go into the blackish blues. Something around there for a lighter black. And then a darker black would be around there. So let's change that to the lighter black and remove the border. Pretty nice. Let's do the same over here. I'm actually going to remove the border off that before I forget. And then on this one, do our lighter. And then let's add a border of blue. So that would be like the on color border blue I might bump that to two that looks way better and so on this one the border is going to be at two but it's going to be this color so you can't see it or we could do a red color if we did that we possibly need green though green and red on and off or we could do um, white and blue Let's do a lighter, uh, oops, let's do a lighter dark color. So something like, uh, let's go back to my blue tones around there. Let's do like a lighter color, something like that. Now I, I like the, just the plain old black. So we're going to go back to the original lighter black on both. Okay. So let's try an off text over here. And I'm going to use that Mr. Eaves I was using the other day. Let's do, let's center that up. Actually, let's do a line left. Grab that lighter black. And then let's bump this up to about 40. And I'm going to position this just off centered of this right here. Let's see how that looks. Copy that down here. Do the same thing. This one's going to be on, and I'm going to line this to the right now. Line it up. Just off centered. Did I not change the text on that? I must have undid that by accident. And let's see this in blue and see what that looks like. Hmm. I'm going to add a border of blue to the outside and then on this one I'm going to add a border of our lighter black it's tricky with this text I don't know if I should change it to blue or not I'm going to copy all of these and look at them side by side and see which one I prefer I think I like this one better I'm going to copy it one more time, and I'm going to remove the border off of both of these. Let's see which one I like of those. Okay, so this is the definite winner of the on switch. I like how it goes from like a flat to of a nice bright, uh, if you get what I mean. So it's all like a lot of flat tones, and then you add bright tones to that. I think I'm going to keep this. Yeah, 
I'm going to keep that. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for my on and off switch. Today was a really quick design, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you. And the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.